drink now. Would you like a cup of tea? Got any coffee? Coffee? Yeah, coffee. No, I don't drink coffee. Yeah, you don't drink coffee? How about instant coffee? No, I don't have. You don't have any instant coffee? Well, I don't know. Who has any instant coffee? I don't. You buy a jar of Folgers crystals, you put it in the cupboard, you forget about it. And later on, when you need it, it's there. It lasts forever. It's freeze-dried. Freeze-dried crystals. Really? I have to remember that. You took this book out in 1971. Yes, and I returned it in 1971. Yeah, 71. That was my first year on the job. Bad year for libraries. Bad year for America. Hippies burning library cards. Abby Huffman telling everybody to steal books. I don't judge a man by the length of his hair or the kind of music he listens to. Rock was never my bag. But you put on a pair of shoes when you walk into the New York Public Library, fella. Look, Mr. Buffman. I, I returned that book. I remember it very specifically. You're a comedian. You make people laugh. I try. And then it's all a big joke, don't you? No, I don't. I saw you on TV once. I remembered your name from my list. I looked it up. Sure enough, it checked out. You think because you're a celebrity that somehow the law doesn't apply to you, that you're above the law? Certainly not. Well, let me tell you something funny, boy. You know that little stamp? The one that says New York Public Library? Well, that may not mean anything to you, but that means a lot to me. One whole hell of a lot. Sure, go ahead. Laugh if you want to. I've seen your type before. Flashy, making the scene, falling in dimension. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What's this guy making such a big stink about old library books? Let me give you a hint, too. Maybe we can live without libraries, people like you and me. Maybe. Sure, we're too old to change the world. But what about that kid sitting down, opening a book right now in a branch of the local library and finding drawings of peepees and wee-wees? And the cat in the hand and the five Chinese brothers. Doesn't he deserve pain? Look, if you think this is about overdue fines and missing books, you better think again. This is about that kid's right to read a book without getting his mind warped. Maybe that turns you on, Seinfeld. Maybe that's how you get your kicks. You and the good time buddies. Well, I got a flash for you, Joy Boy. Party time is over. You got seven days, Seinfeld. That is one week. I remember when the librarian was a much older woman. Kindly, discreet, unattractive. We didn't know anything about her private life. We didn't want to know anything about her private life. She didn't have a private life. What are you thinking about that? Think about this. The library closes at 5 o'clock, no exceptions. This is your final warning. Got that? QB down? No hard feelings. Hard feelings? What do you know about hard feelings? man die in your arms? Ever kill somebody? What is your problem? That's my problem. Punks like you, that's my problem. And you better not screw up again, Seinfeld, because if you do, I'll be all over you like a pit bull on a poodle.